Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to cover the modification I made to my mill to replace these legs with the one inch notches that you have to use the bar to adjust every leg and I replaced them with trailer jacks so I could fine adjust the inner four legs. And then I, what I actually did was <clears throat> took the inner two on the back side and put it on the back and the front so I still had the offsetted feet for the width and stability of the machine. <clears throat> and then I have the forward adjustable legs in the middle, which makes it setting this thing up in about four to five minutes versus bringing a bucket with full of shims of different various sizes to put underneath the feet of these things because you can never get all the feet to line up wherever you want them to and have all the feet on the ground and have the machine stable. I've never got it to work. With this upgrade, this thing is 10 times more solid and way faster to set up. So we unhooked it from the truck. Typically you give it an eyeball, get it somewhat close to being level. I threw the level on here. I pulled the log bunks off and looks like we're just a touch out of whack, but <clears throat> that's good. One, so I'm gonna need a block for this because I am in a hole which typically you set up as level ground as you can but for this application I'm gonna need a block okay just a hair high so we will let's try lowering the front a little bit pretty good okay now we'll do the four outriggers that we made and switch this over to here how we are the other way now so good front to back side to side looks like I need to come up just a scooch on this outside edge here so we'll go maybe two cranks two cranks and we're good and it's just that easy done way faster way quicker whatever you want to call it and this thing doesn't move unless you freaking make it move you still got the offset legs in the back and the front so it gives it the stability versus in the middle How 
long did that take? Looks like my camera says three and a half minutes. And this, how uneven this ground is, it's hard to see, but there's dips in every valleys and everything here. You'd have to have multiple blocks back and forth, up and down. A little bit too much, a little bit not enough. Sometimes you got to dig stuff out with a shovel and it's just a pain in the butt. This has made my Wood Miser LT28 great again. All right, so here's gonna be a bonus clip. Earlier I called these log ramps a log bunk. I don't know if anybody caught that or not, but I don't use them as ramps. I use them as a bunk. And uh, I will be doing a video on how I convert this into a log bunk. Because I do not use them as the ramp as they were intended. Because I have equipment that I use to load my logs on my mill. So follow along and we'll show you how that happens. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show you was with the outrigger installed, the clearance issues that I had with the handles, and that's why it's so far offset instead of being centered. <clears throat> you gotta just, you know, use common sense, whatnot, but there's clearance there for your hands. Now, instead of smashing your knuckles, same thing on this one. It's tight, but there's room. <clears throat> and then the other modification I made was I made the, uh, I guess you call it a bar holder on the back one. Instead of that one. Hope it helps somebody else. Thanks for watching.